literally we can't make this stuff up i mean this is exactly how we did it exactly how it looks now just a few months later but if you want to learn how to improve your wood lots for deer you got to watch this video and subscribe to the channel you'll love to see what this is about to look like like i'm jazzed up this is awesome so back in March, landowner contacted us. We're like, hey, I've got some uh, temporary forest openings, AKA bedding cuts, clear cuts, roughly an acre, acre and a half in size. I need to get done. I um, think you guys can, can help a hand, you know, lend a hand to help out. I, I've got an older gentleman, he wants to do some of the work, but just kind of coach him along and get him started. Well, sure, it's not too far from the house. Why not? Let's help out. Um, this is awesome let's look at this stuff this is the crazy this is so that was back in march this is august 1st today it speaks for itself look at all this growth out here lots of woody regeneration all across this one unit this took probably five well, let's say five hours to complete cutting all of this obviously we left no trees it is simply just a clear cut. So every tree we encounter, whether it's a hickory, there's a white oak lane over there, every tree we encountered in here, gone. But now we've got cover, late season forage from woody browse, um, and obviously growing season forage too, because I'm going to show you that here in just a second. But we've got cover and food now available across this acre and a quarter that is very attractive and very applicable to wildlife that this property is looking to promote, both deer and wild turkeys. So let's go through, break this down piece by piece of what we're seeing now because it's great. Boom, food, high quality food, obviously very attractive food as well. Look at all the browsing that has occurred here. Just incredible. So prior to us cutting any of this, this was a high stem count area. You know, this, this farm had been logged probably 15 or so years ago and um, it got whacked. I mean, it got hit hard. There's really not been that much um, good mature trees left that weren't either hollow already and just didn't have any log quality. So everything that we were cutting is pretty much a hardwood of some sort, some softwoods in here but um, very high stem density. So we had hickories, post oaks, white oaks, black oaks, um, dogwood, red bud, sumac, and a bunch of different, some black gum, um, sassafras, but we went in, again, we were not selective based on the cost share um, requirements, but we went in and we cut. And we cut aggressive and took it down to, basically back to year zero from a forest. And now we've got that expression, now that we added sunlight back in here, we've got that expression, of woody regeneration in here as well. Here's a forb right here, here's partridge pea growing back just right there. Um, elms popping up everywhere, more partridge pea, grapevine covering up. Um, aromatic sumac is a type of shrub native to here. There's some grasses popping down here, desmodium. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. The only thing we did, literally, it, it's not rocket science, it's not anything besides just labor and work. We just cut stuff and then we got sunlight. I mean, look at that. Wide open sky, sunlight here, and then nature took over. So what is this area gonna look like um, in two years? Well, it's gonna be thick. It's gonna be thick again, but it's gonna be thick at the right heights, offer great cover, fawning, um, nesting sites, great cover in the winter time great forage throughout much of the year with a varying species of broadleafs, shrubs, and, and woody regeneration at the right height for deer to, to forage on. But golly, this is awesome. And it hasn't even had fire yet. That's the other cool, cool thing. We don't even have fire back on this site. So um, actually I'm marking roads and, and fire breaks today to be put in so that this unit, as well as about three or four others, they got cut at the same time, can be burned in the years to come. So we're just gonna keep resetting this every four or so years, keep resetting this, maintaining this type of vegetation on the property. I mean, 
there's not many properties you go to where the cover looks like this unless it's just been very actively managed within uh for, for timber purposes but most wildlife properties don't have this and it needs it so if you're asking yourself what can i do man again chainsaw learn how to run it learn how to fell trees be very safe wear all your safety gear but if you're looking to impact your property from a wildlife standpoint offer things that many people aren't this is the technique to do it's incredible let's go and look see what other kind of forages we can find that deer are actively browsing on Okay, here is American Elm, right there. See its bark? American Elm. That right there is one of the top species we encounter all across the country, but it gets pounded by deer. Here's another one, black gum, right there. Pow, look at all that food. Another one right there, another one right here. It's just incredible. Over here we have flowering dogwood. This again was cut, no hinge. They say, you can't keep a tree alive if, if you don't hinge it. Yeah, tell me that's not the case. This is the root system responding. Incredible. Oh my gosh, I just got seed ticks all over my pants. That's not good. You see that? Holy cow. We need to get out of here. I'm gonna be itching for days, finding those things in all the places you don't want to. Ugh. Well, we're not gonna do that again, but Again, here's the overview of the place. We got oak regeneration, sycamore, sassafras, black oak. It's just numerous, abundant forage absolutely everywhere. And here's, you know, here's another example. Like this tree right here was hollow. A lot of the hardwoods and stuff in here, they're growing so densely that they were either somehow wounded um, in poor condition not a good quality lumber down the road anyhow. So it's not like by doing this, we, we lost a lot of value. A big old hollow spot here. Um, so value wise to the timber, not much lost, a lot, a lot gained from the wildlife perspective. Here's a cedar that was cut, laid over. That's gonna burn real nice, get this area nice and hot. So whew, good stuff. So when we get down on a deer's level, now we're seeing where these existing root systems where we just went and flush cut the tree, where it's grown back up. Now we're at really good height for foraging, but also once you get into the middle of this thing, you get really good height off the ground for prime cover too. Imagine if you're a fawn this summer in here, this is gonna to continue to grow. Next month or so it's gonna stop growing and just kind of be idle, but all the stems, vegetation, all of these more shrub-like trees since we just went and cut, they're regrowing the shrub-like structures. This can provide great cover throughout the fall and forage on all these ends. It's just incredible. You see where they've been browsing, this kind of stuff. Oak regen. So we took so many of the trees that had canopies on them that were 30, 40, 50 foot up and just boom, brought them right back down to a level that was that mattered to deer. So here's some more oak regen that's been browsed right there, right here, right here. Here is sassafras that has been browsed right there, right there, right there, right here. More oak regen browsing. Just got to love this stuff. Super simple. Oh my gosh, look at this red bud. Tell me red buds they don't love. Look at all that browsing. It's just incredible. Again, just simply cut. This was not a big root system. That, that's all the, the tree was. I mean, how many, how many wood lots have got trees on them like that that just can be cut and then turned into deer food? Everyone can do that. Take a hand saw out there if you can't run a chainsaw. Aromatic sumac coming back in here. Even hickories were browsed right there. Right through there. I wanna get the drone up see what it looks like from the air but I mean gosh this is absolutely perfect awesome awesome regen hope you hopefully you guys will go out there do this yourself again no crazy techniques 
flush cutting, dropping trees, getting sunlight in, watching nature run its course and take over. We need more of this in the landscape, more of this. Love it.